Hey, good morning to you. So, uh, another just spectacular day today in uh, Central Virginia. It's probably, I think about 50 outside. It's gonna get maybe into the 60s. It's a little bit cooler for this time of year, but it's, it's just beautiful. The air is clear, no humidity right now, and the sky is so blue. Uh, so today uh, I don't have um, any big project or any fancy adventure. Uh, but, uh, well, I never have a fancy adventure. But I do, uh, I figured I'd just spend a little time. I've got to do my normal stuff, right? It's spring. I've got a bunch of grass cutting to do. I've got, uh, uh, I've got some trees to plant. I've got, uh, like some little Colorado blue spruce and a raspberry bush and a few things. And, uh, and I just started out this video by showing you, uh, some of these beautiful flowers in here, um, that are actually coming off the nasty thorns, but they're so beautiful today. Um, and with the, the rain droplets still on them, a little dew, it's gorgeous. And then you can see behind me too, uh, the backdrop of all these. Uh, in a previous video, I said I had lots of cedar trees. I've got lots of cedar trees, as you can see. These are just, you know, ugly on the outside, um, but beautiful on the inside. As you've seen me cut some of them open and the, the gorgeous red inside, kind of like, uh, well, kind of like some of my friends when you're beautiful. <laughs> Not so pretty on the outside, but beautiful on the inside. Uh, and you, you know who you are. Anyway. Uh, it is just gorgeous and I'm excited to get going on this day. I've got a tree that fell in my neighbor's yard a little bit so I may get to cutting that down. Uh, and also I was going to show you, I put my hammock down here by the water and underneath it um, I used a bunch of that wood chippings that I, that I uh, did in last, I think it was last week's video uh, where I showed you how the wood chipper works a little bit better. So that's uh, Put it to use already here, and then I'll put it to use some more today with uh, uh, mulching the trees and, and the bushes in. So uh, anyway, if you want to hang out, hang out with me, check it out. I'll show you some different things. I'll probably just mash it up, speed it together a little bit, but um, it'll be fun. So thanks for joining me and uh, look forward to sharing this day with you, working around the yard. <laughs> Talk to you soon. finished cutting all that grass and it's turning into a beautiful afternoon and I am just taking a uh, little bit of a break here enjoying the beauty around swinging the hammock and uh, checking out the pond Time to get back to work, which means I'm gonna dig some holes, little ones, put some trees in them, and then uh, get out the chainsaw and uh, get up and cut some dead trees out of the way, clean them up a little bit. So keep at it, all right? After I relax a little more. So, 
time for oops time for putting some trees in the ground uh so <coughs> arbor day foundation i'm a member of that and i ordered some trees um from the foundation and i got i ordered six of these colorado blue spruce which i think most of you know are great christmas trees but uh i wanted to create a little bit of uh, something a little different down here uh on the back of my lawn where I got whatever I'm going to work with here a little bit of cow manure and compost I always um not I don't use much of that <clears throat> but this clay this is pretty clay soil it's it's uh and these will handle clay but initially to get them started I, I mix you know maybe uh, a quarter to a third of it will be the manure mixed with this regular soil and uh in the area that of course you dig dig your hole uh, more than twice sometimes up to three or four times the size that, that you want to uh or that you need for the pot size and of course that's so that the roots have a chance to really grow without obstruction for a while before they hit the hard soil and by then they'll be strong enough to uh to make it on their own so anyway i'm gonna pick some spots out here and uh dig a couple holes put some trees in. good to go So when I checked the forecast this morning, uh, it said that it's even mid 60s, which is what I told you all when I started this uh, video out. But it's actually almost 74. It is just spectacular today. So um, anyway, it, it really is beautiful. So just to catch you up on what I'm doing, um, I think I told you before I was mixing the dirt. So what I do is when I dig it out of the hole, I throw it in the bucket. Then uh, I mix in some of this so that it isn't, uh, you know, there's a little bit of extra nourishment to get these guys started, uh, get them up and strong. And then, uh, of course, I get the right height. I put them in the hole, try to get them standing up straight. Um, doesn't always work out, but uh, it, it, I might have to adjust that one a little bit. But anyway, I um, also, uh, then once I fill it in, pack it a little bit, water it, put mulch around the top, I'll probably water it again. But I also put one of these little um, bamboo support sticks, they're always nice. Um, I don't tie it tight, it's loose, but it'll kind of keep it from getting beaten, beaten up too much by the wind. I tie it to the stake and then I tie it to the, uh, or leave a loose loop around the, around the little tree itself. So hopefully, uh, That'll do a nice job, and uh, we'll keep an eye on them. I've got one more to put in the ground, but you've seen it now, so uh, we'll get the next thing you see. We'll be getting cutting down some big trees that are dead already. So, all right. I got a comment I think yesterday or, or just recently from uh, my Amy Good. I think the question was about the thickness of the mulch uh, or the, the wood chips themselves. So I thought I would just kind of give you a little bit closer look exactly what these look like up close they're uh varying size of course depends on the type of wood and how quickly you're pushing it through the chipper but um they you know it's definitely heavier and thicker more like chips than it is like um shredded mulch or double shredded mulch you'd get from a lowe's so uh anyway my amy good i hope this helps you uh, get a better idea of uh, what this stuff looks like up close and um and hopefully that'll meet your need. I don't think you can adjust the blade. I, uh, it, it, it is what it is, but uh, but it's, it's definitely a lot heavier. You could mix it in with dirt, and it uh, you know wouldn't break down as quickly as regular mulch, like like I said from like a Lowe's or you know that double shredded stuff. This is more chips. So anyway, hope that helps. And uh, keep the questions coming or comments. I appreciate it, and I try to answer them as quickly as I can. Hopefully the answers are helpful. So uh, anyway, let's keep going.
All right, so I thought I was going to be done with those four little uh, Colorado blue spruce, but I ended up feeling inspired, so I had a... This is a um, Quaker Aspen. It's hard to tell right now because it looks like a little twig, but this thing grows to be pretty enormous, beautiful white bark, uh, gorgeous leaves, really bright uh, orange in the fall. And I also planted my uh, September raspberry bush. So uh, they needed to go in the ground as well. And this guy is doing real well, looks very healthy. So anyway, thought I'd show you those two since I took on a little bit more than I had planned to, but hey, I was on a roll. Figured I'd keep getting it done. And uh, now I gotta go cut that tree. I've been dreading that. So that's next. So something else I wanted to share with you, uh, you saw me planting little seedlings in the ground, but last year I put in uh, these pear trees. And I've got five of them along my driveway. Um, they've turned out really well and they're growing great. They probably doubled since last year and they'll probably double this summer again. So uh, anyway, if you uh, take good care of trees, put them in the ground, right? They come up beautiful and strong. So uh, really happy with these. these uh, Reminded me of my dad when I put him in the ground. My dad was real big on trees. He had all kinds of orchards and he was quite the farmer. So so I feel a little bit closer to him, I guess, uh, whenever I'm around these trees. <laughs> kind of sentimental, I guess. All right, so here's the tree. Um, it's getting a little bit late already, so I probably won't videotape a lot of it, but it's just a mess hanging out, fell out. It's gonna be a little bit tricky. Uh, so I'll take my time on it, a little bit dangerous, but um, not too bad. Not too bad, actually. So anyway, uh, I may not be able to video a whole lot of it because I'm gonna run out of daylight here, but um, I'll get some of it, hopefully. If not, I'll catch you up later and show you what it looks like, so. I'll get to it. <laughs> Doing. Uh, there's still part of it hanging up in there, but it seems to be up there pretty tight. So you can see way up in the. It was a big limb that just had too much weight on it. And we had one of those big windstorms, might even the ice that we had that broke it. I didn't really notice when it broke, but uh, anyway, now I just got to clean it up and call it a day. Anyway, hopefully this was a, at least I got a video done today and uh, you get to see a little bit of what my normal day is like. Uh, I took a little longer on the plants, uh, getting the trees in the ground than I thought I would, but I always forget when you, <clears throat> you're trying to video stuff, it always adds a bit of time to the extra work. So anyway, um, I'll get this cleaned up and then we'll call it a day. All right, done. I uh, really needed to kind of go get a mower probably and come back and cut my neighbor's grass since he hasn't been able to with my tree on it. Um, but I cleared it all up, got it done, and uh, I just need to cut this up so I, have a, I like my neighbor, so I'm gonna make sure I'm real nice, they're real nice to me. So anyway, I'll go back and take care of that, but uh let's see what else I've got. I think it's a pretty full day. So hopefully I can edit this up tonight and get it out online and y'all can check it out. All right, hope you're doing well, stay healthy and uh, hang in there for the next video. I'll, I'll have another one hopefully next week, we'll see. I don't have anything planned specifically, but I'll figure out something. So. All right, take care, bye. <laughs>